Hello everyone, welcome again in Angman YouTube channel. So in this video, we will continue our episode of Quick Knowledge and we come into the 13th episode. And today's topic is very interesting. It is about infill drilling, which will give us either reserve addition or production acceleration. Okay, so let's go ahead. Let's say we want to conduct infill drilling. We have an oil well here and we have an oil production well there. This will be our production chart. And this well produces oil and we can see the progress, the extension of drainage area here denoted by this circle, red circle. And this is the production profile of this well. Okay, so you can see the production increases until it reaches the plateau period. And let's say this well now has reached the pseudo steady state flow regime. The drainage area has now been limited to this boundary, all right, or to this limit. So more or less, we have a constant drainage area here. All right. And now the production starts to decline. And let's say this is the actual production decline. So we can use this profile to create a forecast. Let's say we want to perform decline graph analysis and this is the forecast, all right? So if we continue producing the fluid from this reservoir using this well, we will have a forecast like this, all right? And of course we want to add reserve, right? And that's why we perform infill drilling. All right, so this new well give us production contribution here. So the production again increases due to this contribution from this well, but at some point in time, we reaches again the plateau period, right? But what's interesting is that now, after we reach the pseudo steady state flow regime in this well and we reach the second decline period, you can see we have decline rate actually the same with the initial decline rate with only one well, all right? This is desirable, why? Because now we have reserve addition, okay? So first you can see this picture. This new well actually give us new reserve by contacting more reservoir zone, it will give us more reserve, right? That's why we call it reserve addition. We get this reserve addition if the contribution of this new well later on will give us more or less the same decline rate. And in some cases, the new decline rate is actually lower, all right? Which will give us more production and more reserve, right? This is this is a good case, right? So this is what we want. We want reserve addition. So by drilling new well, the new wells will contact more area that hasn't been produced, that hasn't been drained previously. So the new well will give us new production zone or more reserve, All right? So I hope that's clear. But infill drilling can also give us another result, all right? which is less desirable actually. So let's say, instead of drilling a new well there, we actually drill our new well here, quite close to the first well, right? right? So let's say we've just drilled this new well, there is no production yet. So this well has reached the pseudo steady state flow regime and decline period and the production forecast is constructed using decline curve analysis. And let's say this is the forecast profile, right? And then we start producing oil from this new well, and we can see production increase due to the contribution of this new well until it reaches a new, a second plateau period, all right? And then this well continues to produce until it reaches so the steady state flow regime 
until it reaches the limit of this well's drainage area. All right. And in this case, because the distance between these two producers is very close, there will be production interference like this one. All right. So you can see the drainage area of this well is contacted with the drainage area of this new well. So there will be production interference in this zone. Okay. So this well want to take oil from this area, but at the same time, this well will also want to take the oil from this area. All right. So in this case, what will happen is like this. Yes, we, we like it. We love it if we get production increase, but after it reaches plateau period and then it reaches pseudo steady state flow regime and it starts to decline, the decline is can be much steeper like this one. All right, it can be much steeper like this one. So yes, you can get more reserve and the reserve can be calculated by calculating the area in this zone, all right? But we will call it production acceleration instead because the new reserve, the reserve addition is not significant, but the production acceleration is quite clear here. Why we call it production acceleration? Because by drilling in this mode, we only sort of accelerate the production. All right, but at the end of the day, the production will last only, yeah, actually the same time with the previous case if we only have one well, All right? So rather than giving us significant reserve addition, it will only accelerate the production. Sometimes we love that. Sometimes we prefer production acceleration. For example, if you want to get more oil as early as possible to get more revenue as early as possible so we can leave the field as soon as possible, right? Some companies do that. They just want to get the oil and get the revenue as fast as possible, as soon as possible. So they will just drill thousands of wells, numerous wells, and they perform infill drilling to accelerate the production. And after the field has been depleted, they will leave the field and they will give back to the government, all right? But most companies will not prefer that. Most companies will prefer reserve addition resulting from the infill drilling rather than only production acceleration. Why? Because you can also accelerate your production by, for example, production optimization or well stimulation, or you can also just increase the choke opening to get more oil from your existing producers. And you can also install artificial lift. So rather than drilling wells that will take more money, all right, more expense, you can perform production acceleration by other techniques, all right, but still, some companies perform infill drilling to get production acceleration. All right, so that's all. I hope you enjoy the video. I hope this video is useful for you. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and comment. And see you again in the next quick knowledge videos. Thank you.